After Jesus rose from the dead, he sent word to his disciples to meet him in Galilee, and there they would see him. His last words to them are recorded in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As we deal with this coronavirus crisis, many people want God just to take us out. Why doesn't God just take the church out of this mess, get us out of this world? But that has never been God's posture. His posture has not been to remove his people from the world, but to walk with them in the midst of it. The Buddhists teach escape through a reaching a place of contentment called nirvana. The Hindus escape through the cycle of rebirth called reincarnation. But God has called us to be in the world, but not of the world. Daniel had to go through the lion's den, but God delivered him from the lions. The three Hebrew boys had to go through the fire, but God delivered them from the fire. And God is having us to go through this pandemic. We're having to go through not being able to have church like we normally do. But God is trying to get our attention to get back to the basics. We are called to do and complete the Great Commission. And I challenge you, listen to God. Listen to the voice of God. Many of us have been in overdrive, too busy to pray, too busy to connect with people. Some of us perhaps have been in underdrive and become just pew sitters, listening to the music and listening to the preaching. But God is calling us to be his people in this world. The world needs the church and the voice of the church and the voice and the witness of Christians during this time. And I challenge you, be the voice of God to your neighbor. Be the voice of God to your family. And let's serve God during this crisis. We, he will see us through. There's an old song we used to sing, God leads us along. It says, some through the fire, some through the flood, some through the waters, but all through the blood. God leads his dear children along. He's going to lead us through this. God bless you as you go through this pandemic.